Good evening, everyone. Hey, guys. Welcome back to DNS, Big Little Garden. We love the life. We love the subscriptions. Y'all keep them coming. We talked about um the big farm we had when I was young. But we only planted a few things lately. Yeah. Bucket gardens. Black tarp my wife found. We're going to be good. We're going to be real good. So, here she go, Lady Ryder. It was Lady D herself. Peace. Hey, everybody. Um, Sam did his video last night, and I want to do mine. I'll tell you about us. He did, uh, well, you know, you talk about yourself, I'm talking about me. Well, a lot of you may not know, but I did grow up in a household that was Jehovah's Witnesses, so it was kind of hard considering my birthday is on Christmas, so that was kind of rough growing up in those kind of times. Um, high school was so-so. I did have a lot of friends. Well, considering, like I said, being a Joe Witness, they don't believe in friends or sleepovers or going to the movies with your friends, going to parties that your friends have. So it was kind of lonely for a while, but then, you know, when I got older, I decided that, I think I was 19 or 20, that something just wasn't right, that you be in a religion that kind of shunned you from friends and people that you get close to. I still have three friends that I graduated from high school. Alicia Benson, Denise Roberts, and um, Valerie Gill. And they have been my friends, I think, since the eighth or seventh grade. It's been a long time. And me and my husband going on 52 this year, so we, we have been friends for a while, and they will always be my friends. Um... My life is kind of weird because junior life, his, well, Samuel life was in the country. Mine was in the city. I was an army brat. My father, we, he was everywhere. He was stationed everywhere. We were stationed in Germany. Um, <laughs> my oldest memory of Germany, I think, was when these two white ladies seen me and my sister and they took us out for ice cream. I think I might have was four, but I still remember that. And it, it was, it was, it was nice there. It was cold. Uh, my brother Chris Win Winley was born in Germany. Um, my brother Don, which Peggy and Don, they have their own YouTube channel too. He was born in Baltimore, Maryland. He was also born in the base. And I was born in Fort Jackson, South Carolina. So I was born in the base. Um, my parents, uh, my mother, she passed away in April. That was a sad occasion. I still miss her, and I still think about her often. Um, they were good parents to us. They tried their best to let us have, you know, uh, recreations. We was all into bowling, so my mother and my father was in bowling leagues, and I was, we was really good. I remember this one time when um, I first got married to Sam, and we went to the base, and <laughs> not trying to bring him down. <laughs> It was kind of funny, though. Uh, we all went bowling, and he never bowled before. And we was bowling, like, almost 200 and 200 and something, and close to three. My brother's close. Sam, well, Donald Jr. was bowling close to three because he got really good at it. I was doing, like, 215. You know, 300 is a perfect score. My mom and dad, it was in their twos. And Junior, he was trying his best. Well, Sammy was trying his best. And um, and it was kind of funny because um, he bowled, he did pretty good for his first try. He bowled like a 150, so that wasn't bad. Um, But what we wanted to say was, you know, we wanted to give you a little teeny bit about ourselves and what we decided to do. We're trying to get into a, a healthier program since um, 2019. We, um, well, I had some news, um, in July that I did have a tumor that had to be removed, so, and it was cancerous. That's why I told everybody that I was going through chemo. My final chemo was in, um, July the 30th. That was my final chemo. I went to the doctor Wednesday on September the 9th, and he said he couldn't see any disease. So at the moment, I am disease free. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Proud of so, you. So thank you. So that was very good news. And um, 
But I do have to go back every three months to get checked out to make sure because ovarian cancer is a disease that does want to rear its head now and then. So I have to keep up with that and make sure, you know, keep, yeah, like pray to God, which we have been very spiritual. So we're going to continue to pray and hope everything will be okay. Um, so after, after Tuesday, I mean, after Wednesday, sorry, on the night when we got those news, me and Sam, we sit down and we decided, you know, it's time to get back on this healthy kick because we were on a healthy kick, but it's, I think a lot of it have to do with my fault. <laughs> when you on chemo and you get, um, they give you steroids. You, a lot of people don't know this. You can't help but think about eating constantly. Me and Sam, we know this because Sam, like he said, he had cancer twice and he's in remission over 30 years. But when you take, when you, you, you go to bed, you wake up and all you want to do is eat. And it, it put the pounds on, trust me, because I think I might've, um, I must've gained at least, uh, about 45 pounds since January. So, yes, all it do is help you want, makes you want to eat. And it's it's crazy. But um, what we decided to do, even the doctor, the doctor told me that it'd be a while for that to get out of my system. Sometimes it takes six to six months to a year to really lose the weight that the, the um, steroids have put on. But we are going to hit it hard. We're going to try to do healthy eating we got our garden started and um we looked out there today guys and they are already sprouting up in the buckets like sam said he planted the seeds uh that monday and i could not believe it that was just fast <laughs> very fast i was like wow <laughs> so that was awesome um Tonight, we're going to make another video about what we're eating tonight. Um, I want to see if is there anything else I want to say. Um, I really have support of my brother, um, Junior, Don Junior, and um, Joseph. They have really supported me during this whole, this whole thing. Um, and my husband's family. My goodness. They have, they have been behind me 100%. His mother, his sister Stephanie, Radiant, and his girlfriend Marsha, they have all been behind me. Uh, and my niece. I mean, when I was in the hospital, constantly, when I was in the hospital constantly, um, my niece stayed here and watched over the house. It was weeks at a time that I could not even come home, and my husband stayed at the hospital. We've been through something. 2019 was a crazy year. But we're going to make the rest of 2020 and 2021 a great year. Y'all got to forgive me because I go through these heat flashes and everything, heat and spells. But we got our goddaughter today. <laughs> She's trying her best to get into every little thing. Go watch TV, Mama. <laughs> but um, on the floor playing around. But, um... We just wanted to make this quick video to let y'all know that we're trying to make a stand in our health and to do things better, um, body-wise, mental-wise, spiritual-wise. We just want to, you know, we want to be better at what Say we're hello. doing. Say hello. Hello. Say hello. Okay. Just, just a little boss lady. <laughs> yeah, she the boss lady. <laughs> um, but I think that might be it. I mean... Like I said, uh, like Sam said, that, um, you know, um, he been through a lot. Um, I don't think he mentioned that his eyes, my husband is going through a um, problem with his eyes and stuff. But, um, but um, he has um, really, he's really been, you know, he's really been getting through a lot of stuff. But when I first met Sam, I mean, that, that really hooked me, I think, was his pretty eyes. <laughs> so, but well, like I said, we've been married since, um, he might have said in his video, I'm not sure. We've been together since 1997, so 23 years of marriage. And that, you know, it proves that 
you know, you can make it. We have our problems. Now, we're not perfect. Every, every marriage has problems, but we work through them. Considering, you know, we had a lot of, hate to say it, Jehovah Witnesses saying that uh, since he wasn't a witness, that we wouldn't make it a year. So, I hate to say it. We proved that wrong. <laughs> um... Even though we never was blessed with children, like I said, our goddaughter is here with us. We consider our, her our little daughter. And hopefully one day we'll be able to have uh, foster kids of our own. But we're going to tackle the end of this year. My birthday will be in a couple of months. Sam's birthday will be here next month. So we're going to be hitting 52 hard and we're going to be out there trying to get our life on track. Trying to get our marriage on track. Trying to get our body on track. And trying to get everything on the right track again. My husband is cooking me dinner tonight. Yes. He's a very good cook. I have to give it to him. And um, I can't wait to taste it. But um, I just want to let everybody know um, we love y'all. We hope y'all continue to like and subscribe to our videos. We're trying to get our subscribers up. So when you see our videos, just push that button, like, and subscribe, okay? It helps us to make more videos and, you know, bring more people to our page. We love to hear, I mean, any comments you might have, questions about gardening tips or anything, just put it in the comment area. we also going to um, probably put some of our recipes on there. We, we starting something new. Like Sam said last night, we're going to be trying to do some cooking and um, recording it. And we're going to put our recipes in the comment areas. So we love y'all, and thanks for watching us. And like I said, like and subscribe. See y'all later. Y'all have a good night. Peace.